Hey, what's up, you guys? So this is Damien Coke. You may recognize him from um, the the coverage of Lysless Austin. Uh, he's playing. He's playing. Uh, this is what deck is this? Uh, this is Undying Mermaid. All right. So this is what he played at Austin. So, no. Okay. At Austin, I said I came back from quitting the game for two years. And I come back and I just wasn't paying attention. I meant to some saber source. Instead, I went pot rabbit and went rabbit. He's a bit of a scrub. Yeah. But I topped the. But I won the regional day two. Yeah, you know, in day two. So it's all good. So I'm back. All right. So popping right into this lovely day. All right. Three Undyne, it's a must. Two controller. Three controller is horrible. Don't play three controller. Two is five. Two pike. Three is too much. It's awesome to just play this one. Three dragoons. This is the most busted card in the deck. This right here is the most busted card in the deck. Then two infantry, two marksmen. I don't. I like two and two because I can search it at any point in time that I want. I can dump it at any point in time that I want, and everything else will just get clogged. Up. Three land. It's too good not to play three, Lindy. Two divas. I don't play three just because I don't want it to clog my hand because I like to search it whenever I want it and not just play it out of my hand. I like for other stuff to be in my hand. Two Megalo. Um, I like two Megalo, mainly because I don't have the third Megalo, but two Megalo is nice because I can search him whenever I want. He doesn't clog my hand. I don't discard Megalo for Megalo. Glacia, it's awesome because you can combo this card out so easily on turn two. Then Gores, just because people aren't expecting it, and Gores baits out a lot of stuff that your Marmeal stuff would run into. <laughs> Alright, spells. Free space. You have to just clear out the little pesky back rows. Then the Trinity. Of course. The Lure, just the deck controllers. Mind control, because this is really busted, and it's super busted in the mirror match. Two surfaces, just so I can reoccur everything that I want. Pot. It's pot. And then my tech, two pot of dualities. This just sets up all my combo plays so easily. I can undine pretty much at will with this and just set up all my combos. And then two torrential, three spheres. I don't have to explain this. All right, that's it for the main deck. For the side deck, three skill drains. Three Barbaros, just because I can conversion size really easily with this deck and it not hurt me. Two Maxis. Two Snowman Eater. Trag. One Soul Taker, just because this deck has a hard time getting over big monsters. Two Dust, just to clear up pesky little back rows and macros whenever they flip it on me. One Mirror Forest, just for swarming decks. What if I take out the cards that I already have? Extra deck. Guys, I can make him once, but it's okay, because I can do it. Dweller, Bahama Shark, Sprite, just because they're busted and stupid. This card is stupid with this. What do I want to do with Leviathan? Temp Temp. Mains. I sat on this card so long today in my macro right match. I don't use eBay. Armory Arm, Valerian, Taster, the Lord. The Lord is so stupid. I played this card one time. I went plus five off a of Diva and this card. Gun Gear. I never usually. I never go into him, but he's nice to have. Black Rose. I love summoning this with controller. Scrap Dragon, didn't really go into it all day. Then Miss Worms, it's nice to have the option. So, um, you know, I haven't played with the deck. I've been first with third. I need one, guys, by the way. Anyway.
Anyways, so, uh, what are your thoughts on the Genex version versus, versus, like, mono, because, you know, that's kind of a popular debate. Um, I like the undone version just because you can put more pressure on your opponent while maintaining hand advantage, or at least maintaining a hand or having outs to the play. Um, the mono mermil is a lot more explosive, but after it goes Gaios and set, it doesn't usually have a follow-up play except for the sphere. I can sphere at will, and I can not sphere at all. Um, so the mono build is, I think the mono build is good for inexperienced players, and Undyne is for a lot better players. And uh, you played a few normal dittos today, what, like two, one? Um, I played two, uh, I played two water matchups. Yeah, so how, how did the mirror go for you? Um, uh, say it's one of the water matchups, just because it's really, really twitchy. Game one is actually really easy for me, except for uh, heavy is dead. Um, game two is easy because I side into Maxis <laughs> and make them take the Maxi challenge. So, so the, the ditto isn't really, really rough, like, you know, a rough matchup. Some people say this. Uh, no, I mean, if you win the dice roll, you're fine. If you lose the dice roll, it's a chance you can get OTK. But other than that, it's fine. And finally, what are your thoughts on Mermel's moving forward, you know, with Opion and, you know, Prophecy and all that things? Pro Prophecy isn't a problem because they don't maintain board presence as far as defense. Uh, sure, they can go off and blow you out of the water, but they leave themselves open to getting blown out of the water themselves. So, prophecies, whenever judgment comes out, yes, it's going to be stupid. They're going to go crazy plus on you, but you just got to be ready for that. I mean, there's nothing you can do. Evil Swarms, I think that deck is so overhyped that it's stupid because they're going to go Ophion and I'm just going to go Undying. I'm going to pop it. And they went, yeah, and they just went neg two for nothing. Right, so I guess I can use this deck profile. Uh, I'm lying. Remember, guys, subscribe, thumbs up. All right, guys. See you guys later.